a day in the life at Jim Fung Koji. So this is Goldwind Science and Technology. This is the room we stay in. You get a roommate. There's two beds. I wake up around 7.30 a.m. My phone's going off, so I get up, and then I put on my clothes. So this is my closet, and then I put on my shirt and my pants. And what do I do next? But I brush my teeth. Before uh, I brush my teeth, I look at myself. I give myself a little confidence, and then I brush up those teeth. Uh, a good stay, a good day starts the oral hygiene. Uh, we have a toilet. We have a washer machine, which is really nice. Uh, you gotta appreciate that. You gotta BYO toilet paper. There's a kitchen, so it's a little, you know, the, the the space is compact, but you know, this is how it goes. And then I say goodbye, give myself a little look in the mirror, and then I exit out the door. Uh, this is the hallway. It's kind of like a hotel, I guess, because these are everyone on this floor works with me. So then I take the elevator downstairs and uh, I look at myself in the mirror and I say, hey, what's up? So then I go out of the elevator and uh, the bus in the morning, there's two buses. They leave at 7.55 and I believe the next one's at 8. I'm not too sure. Anyways, I leave at 7.45 if I want to get out there. This is a nice sweeping panorama of what Guarang Guoji looks like. Uh, I live in the furthest building on the right. It's called C Building. And then there's also A building. And then the one in the middle is B. So here we go. Um, going to uh, the bus. So you need to swipe your card, as you can see people are doing here. And so I swipe my card. Boom. And then I say hello. Give them a little zao shang hao. And then these are all my coworkers. And so then we're on the bus. Uh, there's a couple of stops. There's a stop at Goldwyn International. And there's a gold stop at Goldwyn Site 1. Say see you later to the bus driver. And then we're off. This is Site 2. So say hello to the, the guard, and then uh, that's, they're building another Gold International right now. This is uh, Techwin, I believe. This is where a bunch of my engineer friends work, um, and they do research and design. Oh, look, here's my friend Sheldon. Hey, Sheldon. Uh, what's up? Not much. All right, see you later. Um, so then I keep on going. This is where we get to one of my favorite parts of the day, and that is uh, breakfast. So we go to the canteen and you give them some money. I give them a 10 kwai, and then they give me some tokens, I guess, more or less. Uh, meal tickets? Uh, it's money. Currency. Secondhand currency. Anyways, uh, you can go get any of these weird-looking gross soups. And they're not gross. They just look gross, but not for me. Anyways, I like to get the carbohydrates, get a little bit of this pizza without cheese on it, uh, and then also... You know, if, I, if it's there, I always get it, and that's French toast. It's the sweetest thing. It really makes me happy. Uh, and so then they say, oh, it's six kwai. So I give them ten kwai, and they give me four kwai back. Uh, you can also get some, like, vegetables. They're not really vegetables. They're just pickled vegetables. Usually I get cucumber, but there's no cucumber today. So then uh, here we go. You can sit with uh, the, the interns, usually the foreign interns, have uh, an area walled out that you guys can all eat breakfast at. And so, uh, yeah, these, these, this guy's from Australia, uh, U.S., Nepal, India. So it's a very international group. So then you clean up your stuff, throw away those chopsticks, throw away that trash, and then put away that plate. Give yourself a hello. So then off to work. Uh, it's uh, optional, but uh, you can do morning exercises at this point. Uh, you'd have to miss a little bit of breakfast, but they do have morning exercises every morning. So instead of doing morning exercises, I opted for the breakfast, and now I'm going to work. Uh, this is the first floor of the, where I work. And something really interesting about this is that they got these pixelated paintings. I guess you couldn't really see it there, but they have, like, these weird... Yeah, look at this. It's a cloud, but it's, like, pixelated. I don't understand if this is modern art or if... Like, are they doing this intentionally? Who knows? Does his intention mean anything? Anyways, uh, here's a refrigerator and here's a microwave. Uh, I put water bottles in the refrigerator so I can have cold water because Chinese people like to drink hot water. I like cold water. Anyways, I just waved to someone. Uh, and now we're going to go into Shu, Shu Lin Pen's office. This is uh, our HR rep, our trusted HR rep. Uh, here's Shu. Uh, and she says, hello, good morning. And we say, hey. So this is a nice part of my day where I get to say hi to shoe. And then I walk two doors over and I go to the office of the board of the secretary. Dong Mi Ban. So that's my office. And I walk in and I say, Zha Shang Ha. And then everyone says, what's up? 
And so I just say, I say a good morning a lot to a lot of people. And my coworkers, uh, very much the same. They get that. This is where I work. It's my little cubicle. Although it's not as much a cubicle as it is like a, just a, a desk. <laughs> and so then this is what I do with my day. I translate things from the right side to the left side, which is Chinese to English. And so sometimes it's just updating. Sometimes it's actually translating. Sometimes it's a lot of different things. So then anyways, uh, what I do after, from, from 9 to 11.30, which is two and a half hours, I do a little bit of translating, and then I go to lunch. And so I like to cut through the Tequin building because it's, it's been the summer, so it's hot, and I like to cut through the air-conditioned area. And then also it's just nice to, to like, go into people's working spaces. Maybe that's not nice. I don't know. Uh, so then we go to lunch, and uh, the way that lunch works is you bring your employee card, and you have three choices. You can either get this stuff on the right here, which there's, like, noodles or rice or noodle rice, and then there's also a set meal. And so I decided to opt for the rice plus meat. I give it a swipe. I get my juice, and then I am off. So give me some of that rice, and then give me some of that meat, uh, and I will be a happy as a clam. And so this is included every lunch, uh, every day, is paid for by the company. You can get soup if you want, but I wasn't feeling the soup. You know, if it's cold out, maybe I'd want some soup, but I don't know. I find the Chinese people, they, their, their drinks match their temperature. So if it's hot, they like to have hot stuff. If it's cold, they like to have cold stuff. It's weird. I like the opposite. Anyways, here's Goldwyn University. I spelled it wrong, but who knows the difference? Um, it's a crazy place where you can uh, play piano or study the gujong or go swimming in the swimming pool or go to the gym or all of these things. So anyways, during my lunch break, I like to go in and listen to a little and play a little bit of piano. And so this is the piano room. I just, uh, here I am tickling the ivories, uh, which is, you know, one of my favorite things to do. It's, it's nice to have a little time to yourself to just play the piano. Anyways, uh, some days when I don't play the piano because there's someone there, I'll go here where there's the gujong room. And so then I'll uh, just give it a little pr pricking, prickling. I'll give it a little, I'll give it a little play. Anyways, this sounds weird. Uh, the second floor, this is where all the athletic stuff is. Uh, you can see that there's a rock climbing wall, and then you can see that there's a badminton court, and it's actually a Jenza court, so that's cool. These are all the teachers, a uh, gujong teacher, piano teacher, arts teachers of various sorts, so that's cool. Here's a basketball court. Uh, if you want to play basketball, my old roommate Shahar, he used to play a bunch of basketball. That was great. Uh, then this is, says tennis court. Uh, in more actuality, it's like a ping pong court, but, you know, dreams come true, so you can make it a tennis court if you want. Anyways, uh, at the end of here, this is the, the gym. Uh, <laughs> this is like if you want to get swole, I guess, or if you want to get ripped, uh, you go in here. And then so uh, I leave there, and then I go to the first floor where I work just because I want to show you that they have a bunch of information on building wind turbines. And look at that. That's Hu Jintao and Xi Jinping and all these famous people that run China. They've been in Goldwyn. Anyways, I feel like uh, our, our, our campus, or the company, it looks very much like China's Silicon Valley. Like, it's very hip. So, like, look at this area right here. This is... Um, this is a nice green open space. You can do work here. This is the second floor. And um, as, as you can see, if you walk into it, what's pretty pleasant about it is that there's like vending machines where you can get uh, some drinks, cold drinks, or there's a, a coffee machine where you can get some hot drinks. Ooh, right here. It, this is the reading on the 2.5 uh, p.m. So it's like how much pollution is in your area. It's apparently not too bad on the inside. On the outside, a little bit worse. Anyways, this is cool right here. You can either buy snacks or plants. So the plants are to the left, the snacks are to the right. Uh, you know, I just wanted to get one of these 0.5 a little crab peas things. Anyways, uh, this is the first floor. Uh, this video is wrapping up. I just wanted to show you what... Uh, like walking around my place looked like, look, they got a bunch of wind turbines. It's a wind turbine company, that makes sense. Anyways, that's a day in my life, more or less. 
at the end of the day, I just go and work and do more translating, and then I go home and eat food. So this is really the bulk of it. Anyways, thanks, guys. Bye.